Hi, <clears throat> this is Brandon Moon. I'm here with Dragon Tail Tenkar tonight to tie you up a fly for our fly tie night. This is just a bead head, tungsten bead head soft hackle nymph. Um, we're coming into the colder winter months. That means getting down deeper is going to be more important. So these tungsten bead head flies get you down fast and effective. Being that this is on a jig hook, it's going to ride hook point up. That's going to give you better hook sets when and hookups when you're hooking in your fish because you're going to pull it up into the upper lip as you're hooking, setting the hook. Plus, you're going to get less snags as you're riding the bottom with that hook point being up. So, this one is just like a, it's a ice blue um, soft tackle nymph. Don't really have a name for it. Just an ice blue colored soft tackle so <clears throat> with that we'll invite you to make sure you like your favorite videos hopefully this one's one of them we're trying really hard to bring some value to the community that we feel we can offer in the form of inspiring other tires helping tires improve their skill set and sharing our knowledge with you um, make, like I said, make sure you like your favorite videos, drop us a comment, hit the subscribe button and the bell to receive future notifications. We do look forward to tying these patterns for you each week and showing you some of our techniques and some of the flies that we like to fish. This is a style of fly. We like the flashy bodied flies and the bead heads soft tackles a lot these are some of our most productive flies so with that I do want to kind of keep this moving so that it doesn't take a super long time I've already taken a little bit longer than I wanted for this fly we're going to be tying on an ML058 I'm tying it in a size 12 which is a pretty popular size for us Tenkara anglers I am using a moonlit slotted tungsten metallic blue for the size 12, I'm going to use a 3.5. I really want to get this fly down fast. So we'll go ahead and get started with that. Feel a little lost. This is the first time I've had to tie on my Norvice in quite some time. I've been tying on the Nirvana on the fly rotary. Really, really like that vice and very excited to bring that to you. So I'm using a Cornflower Blue. ADOT classic wax thread. I've got this on my favorite um, thread bobbin. This is the Stone Foe Elite. It's a disc drag tension bobbin, so it's going to give me great control. You can see right here, really comfortable to place my hand, so it does help give me a comfortable and control thread control. You can see I've got this tag end. I'm just wrapping this thread back to the bend of the hook but I'm using that tag end to push each wrap into the previous. I do want this underbody to be smooth. I want it to be very very even. The underbody is the base of my fly so I want to make sure and do, do well with that. So for my tailing I'm going to use some whiting CDL Coq de Leon. This is a medium ginger. It's kind of, some of them have some speckle to them, some of them more so than others. I really, really like this for the, the tailing materials on my, my flies. So I'm just going to pull a clump of that. I want my tips to be lined up. I've got just a couple fibers that didn't line up very good. Okay, so I'm going to take this, I'm going to measure this out. I want this tail to be roughly the length of the hook shank. So I'm going to take that, you can see it's at an angle there. And as I come over the top, somewhat loose, I'm going to pull it tight as I go over. You can see this Coque de Leon is actually kind of rotating up there to the top. I can kind of make sure it snugs up over on top there if it doesn't quite make it now I'm just gonna finish securing that down I want a nice smooth body so I am going to wrap this 
up here towards that bead and then I'll trim it off just short of it. Now I'm just gonna finish securing that in. Now I'm gonna take some um, I believe it's ice blue this one's a deep blue but I don't have the icy blue uh, at my house this is Semperfly tie and wire so I'm gonna take a piece of that I'm gonna tie that in I slide this up into the bead and push it up in there and then I wrap rearward I'm gonna use that wire just like I did my thread to kind of push each wrap into the other wrap and creating and continuing that nice underbody here we're just gonna wrap this all the way back there to that tie-in point where the tails at and I want this to go all the way back to the tail. Now I'm just going to pull that wire up. Now I'm going to pull my tail up. I'm going to give it two wraps underneath and when I come under I'm going to pull that tight up here and then I'm just going to go back over the top. That's going to help make sure my tail stays nice and straight coming out of the back of this. For my body on this I'm using an iridescent blue Pertagon body. Okay. You can put this on a spool. It's a lot easier to control on a spool. I'm just going to trim it off a piece though. Because I'm going to have to edit this video and get it ready here in a minute. So I don't really have time to tie a whole bunch of flies. Keep your eye out. There should be a giveaway coming up sometime in the somewhat near future with all the flies that I'm tying on these videos. So I'm going to create a taper to this body with my thread. So I'm going to wrap back almost to the back of this hook and then forward and I'll go backwards again stopping just short of where I was the previous time and forward now I'll go backwards again doing the same thing stopping short and forward and I'm gonna do this a few times this 8 aught thread is a lot easier to do this with than say 12 aught because it's a thicker thread and you technically don't have to do this but I like a slight taper to my body now I'm just going to take this Pertagon body material and I'm going to use my rotary feature. I'm going to wrap this forward with touching wrap, sometime somewhat of an overlapping touching wrap. It's really thin material. It's not a real thick material. And I'm just going to wrap this forward. You don't have to have a rotary vise, but the rotary function on a vise makes doing these kind of things a lot easier, a lot faster. Um, that's why one reason why we're so excited about the Nirvana on the fly rotary vise. It's going to bring a very highly functioning vise to the market for rotary vise. A good price so we're super excited about that plus it's going to be awesome to bring a vice to the market for Tenkara anglers who are getting into tying who can support a company who's actually investing into their community so many of you know Nirvana on the flies a partner company to Dragon Tail Tenkara. So is um, <coughs> Moonlit Fly Fishing and we also are partner company with Leland Fly Fishing as well as a more newly acquisition. Now I'm going to take that blue wire and you've seen that I half hitched that. That's so that I can wrap this 
wire with the rotary once again. And I'm just going to wrap that. And this rotary feature actually makes it so that these wire wraps are smooth, they're even. So now I'm just going to secure this wire down and I'm going to helicopter this out. Okay. I definitely don't want to use my nice scissors for this. If I'm going to use wire and I'm going to cut it with scissors, I want to have something that I'm not using for my other stuff so that I don't dull it. Now you can see I've got about just a little bit of space behind there. There's roughly about three quarters of the way up in there for the body. I'm actually going to go back over the top when I do this but for the body or the thorax on this I'm actually going to use a brand new material okay we just picked this up recently this is called micro fritz this is in black from Semperfly awesome awesome company we really really enjoy working with them and these fibers are just really really cool it's a real small core really buggy so I'm just going to tie that in and I'm going to tie this back just back over where my wire was because I want roughly about a bead's length where this thorax is going to start so I don't crowd my hook. Now I'm just going to kind of give this a good couple wraps to create a good thorax. It slid up in that thorax, that area there, and you can see this kind of resembles a little bit of like peacock curl. That nice fuzz is going to have a little bit of a UV look to it. Now I'm just going to secure that in. I'm going to be using for the hackle on this. I'm just trim that out. The hackle on this is one of my absolute favorites. Okay, I'm a big fan of whiting red label hen saddle I think you you know it's a little bit more than the Indian hen but for the money the usable feathers on this you're not gonna find anything better this is a light ginger saddle and I absolutely love the coloration the like bugginess this one adds I showed it to one of my good friends this evening he could not believe he's like I love that one too so I took one of those feathers I've already prepped it if you measure this out I want these fibers to go from my tie-in point but roughly to the back end of the hook it's good so I've taken this and I've stripped all the side down on that stem you can see and here's my tie-in point right here okay so I'm gonna take that tie-in point I'm going to tie that in, a loose wrap, and then pull it tight over twice. Now in front. Going in front is going to kind of help me lock that in. Now I'm going to trim that tie-in point out. And that doesn't really ever happen, but since I'm on the video of course it did so I'm just gonna pull a new feather out you'll see me prep this it doesn't take much time and I do this because it wraps and lays so much smoother I feel like it saves me the time at the end not having to doctor my feather okay now for my hackle pliers I like the tie flies 
hackle tweezers. And the reason being is it's light, it's got this nice big loop, gives me a lot more control over my hackle and my wraps. So I'm just going to wrap this and you can see I'm palmering this hackle rearward. But you're going to notice that each wrap I'm not trapping fibers with this hackle. I'm going to preen it rearward and I'm going to use that hackle stem going over the previous tackle stem to really palmer that hackle rearward give it a nice good flare okay now I'm gonna lock that in with two wraps I'm gonna let go now I'm gonna pull that stem rearward trim it out and you can see how each of these steps I'm not having to doctor it but I'm kind of helping to push as I seat the thread in there just a little bit it pushes that hackle back and you can see when I am wrapping that I'm kind of preening those feathers so that they flare out so I'm going to do a whip finish here and I don't want to make my thread collar too full because then it overfills the bead here now I'm going to take some solar res. I like the thin hard. You can use the medium viscosity for this as well. You don't even have to do this, but I like to do this just protect my bead just a little bit plus make sure and secure that thread. So I'm going to put that on there. Now I'm just going to take my bodkin I'm going to smooth that out, run it up next to the hackle over that thread. If you hear a bunch of ladies talking in the background, my wife's got some girlfriends over there stamping, and I am in the room next door tying up some flies. Okay. Now I've got that done, I'm just going to cure this with my UV pen. You can see nice glow to this fly. The light catches it, it's going to really catch that fish and trigger. I love that micro fritz for the thorax collar. Really, really durable material and it's going to help flare out this hackle. So part of the thorax is um, purpose is to help push that hackle out and keep it spread so when you see me wrapping my my hackle I wrapped it with that bare stem hitting so that I can keep a nice clean wrap <coughs> so that's my technique you'll see it in some of the other videos I've posted make sure you hit the like button again like I said also leave us a comment Hit the subscribe and the bell to receive future notifications. We really, really enjoy coming to you and bringing ideas and different patterns for you to tie. So thank you for joining us tonight. and We look forward to tying with you again next week. Have a wonderful evening.